So I built a PC. Let's talk about it. I had literally planned for this video to be done much, much earlier, but instead I just shelved it. It's finally done. It's here. I finished it. Is this a guide? Not really. This will be more of what I learned about building a PC and what the PC got. Of course, to play those sweet, sweet games and also to create 3D models for my coursework. But who cares about that? It's a Ryzen 5 3500. I could flood you with all the details, but no. It's six cores and six threads and is equivalent to the 3600, which was not available at the time. That one is a six core, 12 thread CPU, but generally the PC still spits straight fire. Ryzen also has better looking uh, CPU coolers. I mean, what is Intel doing? Early grade school, the mother of the PC, everything goes in her. Keyword here is upgradability down the road in terms of RAM capacity and storage. 3D stuff on its own doesn't eat up a lot of space, but with multiple projects across different programs, it adds up. For where I am currently, it's an easy upgrade path, so no complaints here. It's 16 gigs, it's 32,000 megahertz. It was only available at the time, would have preferred 3,600 megahertz, but such is life. The items that are in my PC were the only things available at the time because this PC was built during the peak or the initial uh, peak in the pandemic. And so the prices of the things were the most affordable at the time. Also, there was a global chip shortage. So a lot of the items were just out of stock. And so you couldn't go higher or lower depending on your budget. And also the crypto market at the time was uh was 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 still booming and so the gpu prices of other gpus were just way overpriced so yeah this is so if you hear me say that this is this was the only thing available it probably was the only thing available so bye case is case the home for all your shiny new parts i personally like the case and this cool lighting effect the drawback is that it is definitely compact in the front so the air flow is especially when i don't have the ac on and the door is closed then it gets hot this one we need to talk it's the most important part i have the aerocool 750 watt there was no other option it's fine and i haven't had any issues of course it's not one of those well-known brands i.e crosshair evga so far, I haven't had any issues and I hope it stays that way. But if you are going to be building a PC and you want peace of mind, and I would, I would say go ahead and uh, choose a brand that you probably know. It's a Seagate going burr. It does most of the storage things. PNY, SSD, it's fast. It's my main Windows drive. The wonderful 1660 Super. It's amazing. My render times have gone down. Oh my God! Wow! And finally, I'm able to play games that I've always wanted to, but could not run. All in all, it's a beast. A certified hood classic. That's all for me. Follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. Come and watch me game and chat shit. Also, I have a Discord server. Link is in the description. Make sure you pop in. Say hi. Say hello to everyone. Uh, take care of yourselves. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.